So this video will basically go over the reason I haven't uploaded anything over the last three or four months and also explain what happened and where I'm planning to take this channel in the future. I'm planning on continuing with Second Amendment and firearm related content, but I'm also going to be making content of this nature, one wheel content. I got a Pint X, which is the board you're seeing me ride in the video here, which is an electric one wheel skateboard, and it's something I always wanted to get, but I couldn't really afford it until recently. I grew up snowboarding and skateboarding my whole life, and now that I'm in my mid-30s, those are harder to do daily in the winter and in the summer, and frankly, I quit skateboarding after breaking my left wrist. Coincidentally enough, as you will soon find out, that's what happened riding this board was I crashed and I had a fracture of my distal radius and ulna and had to have two surgeries the night of the accident. I had to have the bone straightened out and about close to a month later I had a steel plate put in with multiple pins. And so this is me riding it in the days up to the crash. The accident happened on my fourth day of owning the one wheel. This is the night before. I just wanted to play this footage to show that I had some basic knowledge of how to ride the thing. It wasn't like I just crashed because I had no idea what I was doing or anything. This is the, actually the day of the accident. The accident happened later in the night. This is probably like 5 p.m. or something like that. And right at the end of this trail, Actually, the first time I take this board off off cement, off road, I guess you would say, and the first time you do that on this thing, it's the closest feeling to snowboarding that I've ever gotten on anything that wasn't a snowboard, and it's just it feels great. It's amazing. You can almost take this thing anywhere where there's not super unlevel ground or big rocks. It's a great electric vehicle to take on like bike trails or sand or all kinds of terrain it can handle so and this clip is by iPhone do this is the good stuff right here he has a great compilation of crashes that have happened I totally will and I, I can't I can't wait to test the limits of one wheel it tipped forward and I went flying. And the second I hit the ground, I knew immediately that it was broken. You probably know I did tear my ACL. I, I was on the one wheel when it happened. How would you like to die today, mother No, it's not a real death threat, sir. So basically what happened to me when I crashed is what's called a nosedive. When you're riding the one wheel, the computer in it is controlling the balance of the board and the speed. If you start to exceed the maximum speed that the board can go, you start experiencing what's called pushback. The board lifts up the nose in a last ditch effort to tell you you're coming up to a speed which it cannot handle and once you continue to not slow down the computer can only control the speed at that point and it basically stops controlling the balance which causes the board to nosedive into the ground this is what happened to me going about 20 miles per hour and as you can see on the nose here that big scrape mark is from when I nosedive, going close to 20 miles per hour, which in turn threw me off the board. I threw my right hand out to brace my fall, 
it snapped my wrist and I went flying head over heels, got road rash all over my back, and that's basically what happened. One thing I'm not sure about is I knew what pushback was and I knew about the nosedive. Once the pushback started occurring, I did everything in my power to start leaning back to slow down to no avail. It just kept speeding up. I knew the nose dive was about to happen, but I thought I could get it to slow down, which it did not. And it, in turn, nose dove and threw me off the board. Right before that happened, I had rode through a long, wet patch of grass, so I'm not sure if that had something to do with it. But I have experienced ghosting with this board, which is where you dismount the board, but the wheel keeps moving. So I don't know if that's what was going on, but it seemed like a malfunction, because as you have seen from the footage that I showed of me riding the board prior to the accident happening, it seems like I have a basic understanding of how to slow down and control the one wheel. So this was the result of the nosedive. There's the brake. It was a really bad break, that's the, to say the least. There's the steel plate that was put into my wrist. You can see the multiple pins. There's another angle of it. And there's the bruising that was caused from the surgery of putting the steel plate in. And this is showing the max speed I was going, 19.4 miles per hour, when the accident occurred. And now here's some footage of me riding from two days ago. I just got back on my one wheel about five days ago since the surgery had about a two month hiatus, two and a half to three month hiatus while I was getting all healed up. My wrist still doesn't have full mobility yet. I can't make a closed fist all the way. I can't do a lot of things as I would be able to if it was fully healed, but I really love the one wheel and I want to continue riding it as you can see in this video. And I really, really am passionate about it. I want to start making content focused on one wheel videos and I plan to continue doing firearm content on my channel as normal, but expect to see a lot more one wheel footage and content being uploaded to my channel because I really enjoy it. It's a really fun sport and I was in need of a new activity to get exercise. Now that I'm doing Uber Eats and DoorDash full time, I spend a lot of my time just sitting in my car, so I needed something to get me up and active. There's a picture of me on my last ride from two days ago, and yeah, it's a really good hobby to have doing DoorDash and Uber Eats because you get to f see all these really cool spots to go riding. So, yep, that's what happened. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.